Hey, so I'm going to take you along um, to see Kololo, a place in Kampala. And um, it's an area in Kampala, it's on a hill. And um, as we drive up towards Kololo, I will tell you more about it. So we're just joining on to the <coughs> Jinja Kampala Road from 4th Street. <coughs> and we will go past Lugogo Bypass and the mall. It's quite a busy road. It's the road coming in from Jinja. As you can see, lots of Buddha Buddhas. We've got to find the perfect opportunity to join in. Okay, so from 4th Street, we're just going to find a way to go back in the direction of Jinja. Going ahead, if you look ahead, leads us to Kampala City Centre. Kampala clean garbage trucks there. Just gone past. Right, so I'm going to use a shortcut. I'm not going to go to Lugogo Bypass. I'm going to go up Archer Road, I think it's called. And that gets us to Kololo quicker. We can then go up towards Kololo, uh, Kololo by the airstrip which isn't functional at the moment. Uh, it's not a functional airstrip, but it used to be. But let's have a... Right. So this is a weird one, because you're going straight across onto Archer Road. And now this is gonna lead us towards Kololo. If you look on the side, here um, you've got usual sort of little shops and um, different things on the side of the road. It seems to be like a mini market there. Hesketh Bell Road on our right. This is called Uganda. And the house there. Right, so I'm going to take a right into Acacia Avenue as ahead of us. And behind us, if you can see behind us, I don't know if you can see behind us, it's a nice view um, heading towards, back towards Lugogo. What I love about Kampala is the fact that on the side of the road you have trees. So you've got palm trees, you've got Eucalyptus trees, eucalyptus trees, um, lots of different trees all around you everywhere. So there's lots of green, which is really lovely. You can just sit down and enjoy the palm trees. So we will pass the airstrip on our left. So hopefully we should be able to see that clearly. That's where they have um, parades and they have uh, Independence Day. They usually have celebrations there because when Uganda became independent, that was the location that they used for the ceremony. They put down the Union Jack and raised the Ugandan flag. And it's not working as an airstrip anymore but um, they use it for parades and, and events. But I'll show you when we go by. Okay. So yeah, Kololo, there are lots of embassies in Kololo. Uh, it's a school of public health. Right, so if you look over there, that's the, the location that used to be the airstrip. There's a monument 
um, over there as well. Maybe one, maybe we'll pull up there another time. Kololo Airstrip Police Station. But there we go, that's where they have different ceremonies and different events and um, things like that. Unfortunately, that part's been boarded off so we can't actually see what's there. Oh, it seems like they're building something, have a look. It seems like they're constructing something there. Quite nice. So on this road, um, to the right of us, there are lots of embassies within this area and Kololo is a hill so it's one of the hills of Kampala so you should be able to get some nice views of Kampala as well here we have uh, the embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany in there Uh, what else can we see? The Supreme Court of Uganda to our right. And on our left is the Kenyan High Commission. So further in, there are lots and lots of embassies. I'm not sure what that building is there. It could be a hotel. But I'm going to take you, we're going to turn right and head towards sort of the shopping area of Kololo. I have to be careful because it seems like the cars are coming. Look ahead. The cars are coming on my side of the road for some reason. Now they've moved on. So that was Upper Kololo Terrace we, that we just came up. look to your right that's where the town is as well the Kampala some nice restaurants here um, along this road heading towards Acacia Mall looking for the um, uh, Emirates building, the building to, for, to book your flights and tickets and sort things out. It's also on this road because I did have to go there to change my flight um, the last time I was in Kampala. So it's near Acacia Mall, the Emirates building, if you're ever looking for that. But yeah, loads and loads of restaurants along this road here. Indian restaurant there. Okay, now in front of us, that's the building there. You can see Emirates there, right in big bold letters. That's the building that you can change your tickets or... And it's called Acacia Place. But yeah, the structural, the sort of um, architecture in Uganda is some mishmash of things. You've got sort of buildings, modern buildings like this to my right to where that building is and also the Acacia Mall. Then you also have huts and um, stalls, little street market stalls and uh, places where you can buy. buy um i don't know bottles of water and things like that on the side of the road it's nice having the option um it's nice having the option of being able to go to it's nice having the option of being able to go to a supermarket but also being able to just buy locally um, on the street as well locally on the street as well uh, so it's up to you really convenience wise what you want if you're going to get many things <clears throat> and you need to have quantity 
have everything in one place then you might want to go to a supermarket but then if you want to support local workers as well and people that are selling on the side of the street you can do that but if you look to the right there you've got acacia mall with lots of different things in there there's an asian bistro Woolworths, banks there and um let's see no we'll go and do what we came for originally which is down that way but I just wanted you to see what we have in there and in there as well you've got a cinema um, what else ice cream parlor there's a kids play area um, as well and then to the left you've got uh, CJ's which is Cafe Java's Yeah, this is what Kololo looks like and I'll see if I can get permission to film in the mall then I can take you around the mall and show you what that looks like right let's get in and I think it's free parking for a certain period of time I'm not sure but I think it is I'll have to go and check it out. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can get in. All right, okay. So you have to be careful in Kampala because there are lots of Buddha Buddha drivers and those are the motorcyclists, but that's a uh, means of public transport as well. And so you have to really be careful when you're driving because if you, hit a Buddha Buddha driver or even if a Buddha Buddha driver hits you all the other Buddha Buddha drivers come and gang up on you so you need to be really really careful if you're doing that to the left if you have a look to the left there it's a little place called I'm not sure what it's called actually but there you can they've got like a few different um, food places there and you can order food from their terrace from whichever restaurant you want. So they've got, um, what have they got? They've got Little Donkey, they've got like um, Tapas Place, and I can't remember what's there actually, but then you can order whatever you want from each different place, and then they'll just bring the food to your table, which is quite nice. So let's see, where's the parking for this place here? Kendra, have you ever been to Acacia Mall? Yes. Do you always come here? What do you come to do here? Outing with friends. Okay, just to hang out, yeah. Okay, I think the entrance was is that way, isn't it? Oh, that's one way. I it's think. in front. Oh, he's going there as well. How come he's going there? Oh, because he wants to go down that way. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get permission to film inside. Um, it's a public place, so let's see anyway, but I just want to make sure. And then I will let you see what Acacia Mall in Kampala is like. But if you have a look here, there are lots of different things outside. You know, food places, Kepasa, Kepasa behind there. to different things. The bistro right in front of you there. Oh, there's a Lebanese restaurant over there. 